أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل تعالوا أتل ما حرم ربكم عليكم ألا تشركوا به شيئا وبالوالدين إحسانا ولا تقتلوا أولادكم من إملاق نحن نرزقكم وإياهم ولا تقربوا الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن ولا تقتلوا النفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق ذلكم وصاكم به لعلكم تعقلون رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي Today in the 8th juz I wanted to share with you an ayah, ayah number 151 just one small reflection from this ayah that has to do with our parents uh, and I know Surah Al-Isra, Surah number 17 has just beautiful advice about parents, probably one of the most comprehensive passage in the Qur'an dealing with the rights of parents. But there's something about this ayah that really gets me. The ayah begins, قُلْ تَعَالَوْ أَتْلُ مَا حَرَّمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ Tell them, the messenger is told, you know, uh, come on, let me read on to you, let me recite on to you what your master has made impermissible for you. Let me tell you what is made impermissible by your master, by your Rabb. So the ayah is supposed to include things that are impermissible, right? That's what you're expecting, because the ayah begins, let me read to you what is impermissible. So let me make a, make a list of these things. Allah tushriku bihi shay, and that you won't do shirk with Allah, number one. I'm going to skip one and say, wala taqtulu awladakum min imlaq, that you're not going to kill your children because of bankruptcy. Nahnu narzukukum wa iyahum, we provide you and we provide them. Don't kill children because of bankruptcy. That's number two. Wala taqrabu al-fawahish ma zahara minha wa ma batan. Stay away from all forms of shamelessness, whatever is obvious of it and whatever is hidden of it. Any form of shamelessness and lewdness and indecency, stay away from it. That's number three. Just to review, don't do shirk with Allah, don't kill children out of bankruptcy, and don't engage in any form of shamelessness. Wala taqtulu al-nafs allati harram Allahu bihi, harram Allahu, don't kill a person without justification. Don't engage in murder. You have no right to engage in murder without without al haq without the right, and the right is executed by the court of law, right? So there are major major things that we are stopped from in this ayah. And at the end of it, dalikum wasakum bihi. That is what he counsels you with. Laallakum taqilun, so you can apply your intellect. Allah is applying this, this giving us this counsel, but in the middle of it all, He said, wabil walidayni ihsanan, and I'm literally scratching my head because it says wabil walidayni ihsanan. Be good, be the best you can possibly be to both parents. I thought the ayah is not about commands, it's about prohibitions. Everything in the ayah was a prohibition. Everything was don't do shirk, don't kill a person, don't, don't kill your children, don't go near shamelessness, don't you know, uh, uh, kill a person without having justification. Everything is a don't. The only do in the ayah is goodness to parents. You know why that's rhetorically so powerful? Because this Allah is now saying, Anything short of the best to your parents, you better not do. There is no other commandment in Islam where we have to do our best for it to be acceptable and that if we don't do our very best, that you're actually in sin. There's no commandment in Islam, except parents. Except parents. Allah doesn't say you have to have ihsan with Allah. That you, if you don't have it, then you're in the haram. The ayah is what is haram. The ayah is what is impermissible. And Allah says, وَبِلْ وَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Both parents, you better absolutely be the best you can be. You better be good to them under any circumstance. And the other awesome thing in this ayah, and by the way, anything short of your best, and you're in the haram. You're in what Allah forbade. That's the remarkable thing about this ayah. If I don't have the perfection in my prayer, I'm still not sinful technically. I should work towards perfection, but I'm not sinful sinful. I'm not in the haram at least. If I don't have perfection in how I speak to people, I could be better, but I'm not sinful at least. But with my parents, what, what, what about when my parents should be perfect? Like what verb is it? Speak to them in the best way, deal with them in the best way, give them the best kinds of gifts, be the most patient with them, show patience with them in the best way. Which action is it? Allah did not specify a verb. He just said, when it comes to your parents, the best. Ihsanan. The best what? You know what that means? Don't think of a single thing that shouldn't be the best. There's not a thing you can think of when it ha that has to do with the relationship between you and your parents that shouldn't be the best. Your speech, your thoughts, your patience, your attitude, your body language, your gifts, your time, they should get the very best. 
And a lot, you know, this is the form that's used in every language virtually when someone is really giving you instructions and they're like, I don't want any discussions, okay? So if I tell my children, silence. One word. Done. Then I don't want any discussion. End of discussion. There's no exceptions. I don't want to hear oh, you're, you're a special case and I know it doesn't apply to me because I hate my dad or I can't stand my mom. Doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا when it comes to both parents, ihsan. That's it. There's nothing else said. And it's made nasab. You could say nasab ala tawqeed also here. I'm telling you, it better be the best. It's like Allah is saying, I'm telling you, it better be the best. Nothing short of it. And that's in this remarkable ayah. In, in which everything else was forbidden. And, the, and by implication, what's forbidden with our parents is anything short of the very best. May Allah help us live up to this incredible standard and really give us the strength and the patience, really the patience to deal with our parents when they become hard to deal with, when they become you know, angry unnecessarily, when they make you know, inappropriate demands from us and we sometimes even un-Islamic demands from us. How are we going to navigate that? We're going to even navigate those situations with Ihsan in the very best way we possibly can. May Allah give us the courage and wisdom and patience to be able to deal with those difficult situations with our parents and may Allah forgive our parents for the mistakes that they make. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Quran Weekly. No, absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs>